So what's the idea behind subnetting? We know what an IP address is. An IP address allows you to identify something that is connected to your network. A computer, a laptop, a router, a switch, an access point, a server, and so on. We know that when we want to configure an IP address, we have to specify something that is called a subnet mask. Slash 24 means that we have 24 bits in our subnet mask. I have to stop here. What does it mean 24 bits? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 24 bits. This is in binary. If you want to convert it back, this is 255, 255, 255, 0. When you go for an IT exam, in many cases you don't have a calculator, so you have to know how to convert uh, to binary and from binary. So this is something that you will have to master. If it's been a while since you converted uh, something to binary, I will show you that. For now, all ones is 255 and zero, of course, it's zero. So when you count all ones, you have 24 bits in your subnet mask. This is slash notation, something that is very popular because it's very easy to read and does not take a lot of space. Here is a question. I have one IP address, 192.168.1.0 slash 24, and I need five networks. What does it mean, five networks? You're hired as a network engineer and your company is about to open a new office. Your senior network engineer goes, you know what, mate? I have a firewall rule for one network, 192.168.1.0 slash 24. You have a lot of IP addresses in this network. You're okay to use it for whatever you want. Well, you, you don't really want to use one network in your office. You need one network for your servers, one for your printers, one for your network devices and so on. Well, but your senior network guy has just given you one network. So you have to take this one big network and divide it into five subnetworks. The first step is to convert to binary the number of networks you need. We want to convert number five to binary. You create this table, I'll show you. If you're interested, this is two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two, two to the power of three, and so on. This is like the main table that you want to memorize. Now you know you want to convert number five. When you think about 128, well, that's too much, yeah? 64, well, that's too much either. Too much, too much. Eight is not good enough either. Well, four is good because that's five. So you say five minus four, you are left with one. Then you say, okay, so two is not good enough because I am left with one and then it's one. We've just converted five to binary. The second step, we want to convert the original subnet mask to binary. Okay, so 255, let me just zoom it in for you. 255, 255, 255, zero. We know 255, it's all ones. Well, why? Now we know when you put one here, one, 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 and you add all these digits, you will get 255. Yeah, 255 in binary, it's all ones. One, 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 and then zero, of course, it's all zeros. That's pretty easy. We need three bits to get five networks. Where did I get it from? We know five in binary is like this. We can actually ignore all zeros over here. Why? Well, it's like saying that you owe me $1,000, okay? I can say you owe me $1,000 or I can say you owe me something like this. 
it's the same, yeah? So we can just ignore these zeros and uh, now we have three bits. You cannot ignore this zero because if that was uh, $101, well, I would not be happy if you gave me back 11, right? So you cannot do that. So we know we have three bits to get five networks. Our new subnet mask is like this. So we take this space with zeros. You cannot touch ones because they are reserved for our network. You take zeros only and you say, okay, because I need three bits, I will put three ones here. I will just take three ones from here. I will just put three ones in here and then leave all zeros over here. If you convert it back, one, one, one. So you say 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. And you have this number in binary. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 1, 1, 1, and then all zeros. 128 plus 64 plus 32 is 2 to 4. This is your new subnet mask. The final bit is our increment. The final piece of information that we need, you need to know what number to use to create five networks. When you scroll up, you see that we need five networks. We need five networks. So you say, okay, so my, I, my IP address is 192.168.1.0. This is my network address. That's fine. But what is this increment? What is the number that I can use to divide my network? You could say, okay, maybe it's like 50. You could say 192.168.1.50.100.150.200.250 and so on, yeah? You could try and guess that would be around 50 to be, to be fair because we need around five networks. But well, it's all about binary and uh, math, so you can't really guess. And we need this piece of information. We need our increment. The last digit, the last bit in your subnet mask is your increment. So what is your increment? The last bit in your subnet mask. Yeah, the last bit, the last one points to 32. 32 will be our increment. 32 will be used to divide our network into subnetworks. Here is our final table. We say 192.168.1.0. And then we say, well, let me just do it here. So it will be easier. So we know our increment is 32. This is our first network address. Our increment is 32. So we say 1 dot 32 dot 64. What's the next one? You have to be careful here. You can't multiply. It's plus 32, 96, 64 plus 32 and so on. Yeah. Okay, so we have our network addresses. Of course, you move on and on and on. You stop when you go when you go above 255 at the end. We know these are network addresses. Okay. Now you have to know what your final IP address in every subnet is. This is something that is called a broadcast address. Do you remember a broadcast message? Well, we want to send this piece of information everywhere, this packet everywhere. This is a broadcast message. Every time you come up with a network address, there is a broadcast address for this network as well. Here is my question. What is the last IP address in this first network, subnetwork? 192.168.1.31. 31 because the next one is 32. What about the next one? What is the last IP address? Well, that's 63, because it's 64. 
What about this one? Well, it's 95, yeah? Because then it's 96. You cannot assign the first and the last IP address to end devices. These addresses are reserved. The first one is called the network address. The last one is called the broadcast address. These IP addresses are reserved. They cannot be used for end devices like servers, routers, switches, access points, printers, and so on. So what are you left with? What IP addresses can be used for end devices in the first subnet? Well, anything from one, because zero is reserved, and the last one is 30, because 31 is reserved. We have our network address, broadcast address, first usable IP address, and the last usable IP address. When we go to this network, we have 32. The first usable IP address is 33, yeah? That's pretty obvious. Because our broadcast address is 63, our last usable IP address is 62. 